Marco, Ibanez working a bunch of one twos that worked quite well against the Hanover defense. And he has a chance for a reply, but it gets kicked out. Number 19. Number, number 19 for Bedford, John Cassidy is a senior. Kicked it off the Hanover player and earned the throw for Bedford. Saved by Bedford. Controlled. Casey Shell looking for Martell on the left side. Martell has been all over the field. Can he get by defender? Gets by oh, one. Oh, this could be promising. He's got a chance. Sends Inside. it into the middle. Marco with the opportunity. Here's a shot. Casey Shell with the goal. goal! Sixteen minutes gone. Casey Shell with the slotted home through ball from Eric Martel. One nothing. Two captains working in perfect synchronization there. Casey with just spotting up inside the eighteen and ripping home a clinical shot, but Great work by one of the best players in the state of New Hampshire, Eric Martell, to get by two defenders. Just Mark, uh, Marco Ibanez did not slot it home, didn't have the opportunity, but Casey popped up and f finished it home. But seeding might play a definite factor when it comes to the late day games. As we get a chant from the Bedford fans. It's going to be a free kick from the far right corner. Bedford looks like another can take a, definitely take their time lining this one up. Sending a couple players forward. Nolan is not in the box, so they're definitely just waiting to, to run out the clock here and make sure they waste the end of the game. Yep, he's taking this to the corner. It'll be a thorn again for Bedford. A little cheeky play, not kicking the ball into the box, just trying to dribble it out, out the clock. Not cheeky, but smart as well. Not giving Hanover any time. And that and will do it. there's the game. Great plays defensively from Bedford have shut out the Marauders at home. Final score, Bedford 1, Hanover 1. Like I said earlier, Nate, great game. Um, definitely two of the top teams in the state, and we definitely saw a great, a great game tonight. It's tough because of the conditions to really judge which team was better, but I think Bedford edged out the win with that first half goal from Casey Shell. Um, Martell probably has to get the man of the match for me, um, if not if not Casey Shell with his goal. Well, it's definitely going to be hard for Hanover to take this one, but you know what? They really showed a lot of promise in the second half. They just could not get any idea at the Bedford net, and Taylor Wallace played a very good game as yeah, well. Yeah, he played smart uh, given the conditions, but uh, Martell and Shell worked very well up forward, so... Thanks for joining us here at Bedford. I'm Miles Utel with Nate Teixeira. Join us next time for another Bedford soccer game.